Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to today's show. We got some rumors to get into, but first we're going to get into some news uh, that Ian Rappaport dropped. Uh, just uh, before we went live for our Tuesday show, Bears are hiring defensive line coach Travis Smith, according to a source. He has spent the last several years with the Raiders. Uh, I'll just talk about him for a sec. Uh, assistant defensive line coach in Las Vegas. Worked directly under Rod Marinelli, so I like that. Uh, this obviously does or means that Marinelli all but assuredly is not coming. But uh, you get a guy who's been under him in Las Vegas. He's been with the Raiders for a while. And if you think about the Raiders this year, Max Crosby, uh, Yannick Ngakwe, their pass rush, their front four was really good. Uh, a young guy, uh, but has some experience, eight years of coaching. So he is the new Bears defensive line coach. All right, let's get into some rumors now here on Chicago Bears. Now, Ryan Poles will be a, quote, sensational general manager. Two smoking Jays. We don't know. It's too early, right? I think it's possible. I think, like any other hire, it's possible it doesn't work. It's too early to say. Uh, Tony Dungy certainly believes it, though. That's why we're talking about it. He hopped on the Under Center podcast, talked about a variety of things, including what he thought about Ryan Poles, says he's heard nothing but great things uh, around the Bears' new GM, and uh, he believes that he's absolutely the right guy for the job. And, look, that's an endorsement that goes a long way because Tony Dungy is a – a uh, Hall of Fame coach who has been a round of Hall of Fame type of people like Bill Polian, who, of course, was involved with the Bears GM search. Here's what Dungy had to say when it comes to polls. Quote, everybody you talk to, I've heard nothing but good things. I've been really impressed with what I've heard around him being in the Chiefs organization. I have a lot of respect for the Hunt family. Uh, Andy Reid is a tremendous mentor as well. Ryan has that great background. I think he's going to do a sensational job. Look, Poles certainly has to prove himself. Uh, you know, we're not just going to be, you know, hype training only and not hold these guys accountable if things don't work out. Uh, but so far, so good, right? There's been nothing but good uh, stuff said about him. A lot of endorsements from a lot of people uh, who uh, have either worked with him or have heard good things about him, like a Tony Dungy. On paper, on the surface, this is a great hire. Uh, I think uh, you guys feel the same way. This is a guy who's young, who's hungry, who's energetic, who's been around a lot of smart people for a, lot, a long time in Kansas City, whether it's front office executives, GMs, or head coaches like an Andy Reid. I think the Bears got a good one. Now, he's got to prove himself. GM's a, another step up for him, but he worked his way up in Kansas City. I think he's ready for this opportunity. Now, which hire do you think is better? Type R for Ryan Poles. Type M for Matt Eberflus. Get your votes in down in the comment section. Better hire for the Chicago Bears. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We're closing in on 43,000 subscribers. We're just over 600 away. Chicago Bears news and rumors videos being uploaded every single day. Help us out. Let's get to our next milestone here. And, hey, uh, we're 100% free. We don't charge you like some of those, uh, you know, paywall websites. Uh, we keep you guys up to date with everything on the Bears for free. So subscribe. It's the best way you can help support the channel. Let's get to our next rumors roundup item here. Oh, Devontae Adams. This is juicy. Is he interested in signing with the Bears? Two smoking Jays. Who knows, right? I think it's possible, uh, but there is enough uh, speculation and rumors uh, flying around on social media. Sports Mockery uh, mentioned that uh, there could be some mutual interest there. Uh, now, this is pretty much a fact, not in the rumors uh, realm, but uh, bullet point number two there. Adams by all accounts, loves Luke Getze, who is now the Bears' offensive coordinator, uh, has a ton of respect for him, credits him for his development as a receiver because Getze used to be the wide receivers coach in Green Bay. His first two years as a player for Adams, Adams wasn't that good. Getze uh, is the receivers coach. He makes him a better player. So I think uh, that relationship is legitimate. Now, a caveat in all this is, one, does he want to go from Green Bay to Chicago? We'll see what happens with Rodgers, of course. And two, he also wants to be the highest paid receiver. Can the Bears afford to do that? I don't know that, you know, that would certainly be tough. Now, Brandon Jacobs, who I've seen circulate uh, on social media, he follows, uh, I think we follow each other on Twitter. He tweeted this out and, you know, he's got like 600 followers. So he's, you know, I, I don't know if he's tapped in at all, uh, but he did tweet out a certain wide receiver out of Green Bay, talked to Luke Getze yesterday and showed heavy interest in joining the Bears. I don't know if there's any validity uh, from him, uh, but I'll tell you this. It is Bears Twitter Rumors SZN, baby. This is a fun time of the year. 
crazy reports are circulating, rumors are flying off the walls. There's some truth to some of them. There's not much truth to others, but you know what? If Devontae Adams is in the headlines, if he's trending on Twitter, we're talking about it, baby, because the Bears could absolutely use a wide receiver. And if it screws over the Packers, I am all in. More on this in a moment, but first, BetUS is our a sponsor for today's Bears news and rumors segment. Appreciate those guys. And, uh, guys, the big game's almost here, Super Bowl. And uh, if you don't bet on the game, I don't know what you're doing. Go to chatsports.com slash bears. Promo code is bear down. That's bear down uh, when you go to chatsports.com slash bears. I like the Rams. I think I've decided. And I like the over in this game of 48 and a half points. And we're bringing back our jersey giveaway deal. For you brand new BetUS customers, follow these steps. Chatsports.com slash Bears, promo code Bear Down. Deposit a minimum of $100. You'll get the 125% deposit bonus. Place a bet on any game, the Super Bowl, or a prop bet. For the Super Bowl, there's 10,000 prop bets, it seems like. Uh, doesn't matter. It can just be 5 bucks here, 5 bucks there. Once you do all that, email us, jersey at chatsports.com. We've got a bunch of Justin Fields jerseys back in stock for you guys, ready to hook you guys up. We will get you a brand new jersey for the upcoming season. Chatsports.com slash uh, Bears promo or uh, email us jersey at chatsports.com and we'll hook you guys up. Okay, back to Devontae Adams. Obviously, he's tremendous, right? I don't know how true these rumors, uh, and I'll put in air quotes, uh, reports are. Uh, but if there's any chance uh, you can get him, that's something to at least pursue. Now, money's going to be a factor. The Bears have several needs. Uh, he's going to cost a lot. I get all that. But, uh, man, if you could take him from Green Bay, you get him, by the way. Rodgers is probably gone. That means he's probably gone, too. Man, that, that's a huge blow to Green Bay. There's no doubt. So two smoking Jays. I think it's possible. I wouldn't say it's probable. Uh, but, hey, you know, the fact that there's a chance means uh, that I am fired up. How hyped would you be for Devontae Adams? Scale of 1 to 100. 1 being he sucks. Uh, he's a Packer. Can't bring on any Packers. 100 being <laughs> FGB. Am I right? You can also type that in the chat. I'd be at like a 92, man. He's really, really good, uh, and uh, it screws over the Packers as well. So scale it from 1 to 100. Now, uh, some of you guys, we've gotten a lot of new subscribers recently, might be like, what the hell are these smoking Jays? So here's our smoking J rumor meter. Zero smoking Jays equals fake news. There's no chance it's happening. One smoking J, eh, it's barely true. A little pun on words there. It could happen, but it's unlikely. Two smoking Jays, people are talking, and they're definitely talking about Devontae Adams. That's It's possible, but uh, it's not really leaning one way or the other yet. Three smoking Jays, it's pretty likely it's trending in that direction. Four smoking Jays, bear down because it is going to happen. All right, so let's get to our next rumors item and see how many smoking Jays it gets. How about drafting David Bell, the wide receiver out of Purdue? Uh, it's a clean sweep. Two smoking Jays on this one. It's a two smoking Jays kind of show. People are definitely talking. Uh, as is Jordan Reed, uh, ESPN's new NFL draft expert, one of them. They still have Kuyper and McShay. He unveiled a two-round mock draft recently, and uh, obviously with it being two rounds, that means the Bears were involved. Uh, the Bears uh, select him at number 39 overall in Reed's mock. And uh, like we're just talking about Adams, obviously wide receiver is a uh, big need for Chicago this offseason. And Bell's a guy we've loosely talked about uh, before, really breakout year. He's obviously a local type of kid playing at Purdue uh, over there, j pretty close to Chicago. 93 catches, almost 1,300 yards, six touchdowns, 14 yards a catch, has some explosion to his game, I think. Uh, you know, late, late first, early, mid second is kind of where you can expect him to get drafted. And that, of course, is right where the Bears are selecting at number 39 overall. You look at the Bears wide receiver depth chart. I mean, after Darnell Mooney, what do you have, right? A-Rob, free agent. Goodwin, free agent. Bird, free agent. Uh, Jakeem Grant's a free agent. Daz Newsom. I mean, you've got the Simba Webster and Isaiah Coulter on futures contracts. But after Darnell Mooney... Uh, it's a clear need uh, for this Bears offense, as is offensive line as well. I think these are your top two needs, maybe on your roster, not necessarily in order. O-line, it might be a bigger need, but you got to figure out wide receiver. you got to figure out offensive line, uh, and then there's a couple spots on defense as well. But uh, listen, I think drafting a receiver is possible. I think signing a big-time big receiver is possible. Very fascinated to see what Ryan Poles does in his first offseason as general manager. Grade the pick, if it happens, of David Bell at number 39. A, B, C, D, or F. I'd give it like a B plus. It'd be a good pick. Obviously, uh, you'd have to factor in who else is still on the board. 
uh, at the time. But I think, look, on paper, if you get one of these receivers that's in that realm, George Pickens, uh, dare I say, you know, Jameson Williams falls to round two, uh, those would all be good picks. So I'll give it a B plus. Let me know what you guys think on this one. All right, follow me on Instagram, at HGramNFL. It's at HGramNFL. I think I told you guys once we cross 2,500 followers on IG, I'll cook up another Instagram Live, chop up some bears, uh, news and rumors with you guys, answer some questions. I've had fun doing it the past couple of times. So give me a follow at HGramNFL, and uh, let's continue to grow over there.